So guys, finally, Redmi Note 8 users got this Descendant OS official first build, first official version based on Android 12 for Redmi Note 8 users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8 or Redmi Note 8, you can install this build from a custom recovery. Seems to be quite good, quite fast, and including all those unique features because Descendant OS is a unique custom OS which we have installed. And I made a video on Descendant in the first look, including for Mio 2 devices review. I made a video yesterday, maybe one or two days ago. So make sure to check out that i will try to provide the link in the description for that same like other builds other devices builds this also comes with the pixel launcher pre-installed pixel launcher looks good of course you can replace it with your own custom launcher like launcher or whichever you want to choose including that the quick settings panel is also looking same if you're able to see the data dashboard which is available in the quick settings panel you can enable or disable that if you want to some minor bugs like this if you're able to see i got that but this is not a major one it can be solved easily so these are some interesting things which you get in the descendant os let's just find out some other things which you get in this latest descendant os Let's just quickly take a look at the safety net status that if you want to use this thing, make sure the safety net status should pass for you. And yes, safety net status is not having any kind of issues in my case. My Redmi Note which is Ginkgo. If you're able to see, your Ginkgo pass safety net status is passing without having issues. But depends on if you want to root your device with Magis, you can. You simply need to hide it from Magis, uh, hide that and make sure to follow my previous guide which I already shared with you. Also, a lot of users were looking for the camera that which camera you have pre installed. In Android version 12, it matters a lot. Yes, you have the MIUI camera included for you. When photo mode, etc., is working perfectly fine. But if you move on to the portrait mode, unfortunately, it's not working. Portrait mode is not working. If you're able to see the can't connect to camera error, then it will not work for you. So, what you need to do is uh, simply disclose it from recents, clear it from the recents, go and click on app info clear the storage which means clear all the data of this camera app and restart the camera app once again then the camera will work for you so open this once again and here now just use a night mode portrait mode whichever you want to use it's up to you i don't think so it's having any kind of issues for you the portrait mode was not working for that you can simply use a google camera if you want to google cameras a lot of google camera modded based already available i made a video yesterday on one of the most stable google cameras out there so make sure to check out that if you need that link is already available on the i button so make sure to check out that some things i just want to let you know about gcam or you can see the default camera i've already shown you this is one of the best things about all the custom homes which are custom home having this feature called google photos unlimited unlimited backup storage unlimited full resolution quality backup looks better i always use this thing and this is also installed in one Looking for the CPU throttling test? Yes, CPU throttling. If you're able to see 15 minutes, the maximum, the maximum scores, if you are able to see 143, which is absolutely great, CPU throttle to 95% of its maximum performance. By the way, Descendant OS is looking quite good in Redmi Note 8 so far. I tried it using from some time and app opening, app closing speed was quite good as it is Android version 12. And yes, I can say that you can use this thing on your device. As I previously mentioned, you might face some minor bugs, but those are not major and you can use it on your device. If you take a look at the game dashboard, it's present, it's working perfectly fine. If you're able to see the new UI, etc. If you compare it with the Dubfest game space, or even though in Nusantra OS, you have that new game space which works really good. XM UI has different kind of game dashboard, but in this descended OS, you have same like of game dashboard which you get in all the Android 12 or it released by Google. It's just looking good. And if you don't need separate things, then this might be a very good choice for you. I think so. Including that as a descendant OS, I previously mentioned you in my previous video that it includes this new gestures called a gesture magic, search call on pickup, answer call, media halting, resume media, a very good choice. And that thing is also included in this update. So make sure to try out this thing on a device with this update. 
Although this Android OS is a very good choice for you if you want to install it on your device, you can. It does not contain many customizations for you. I already mentioned that a lot of time ago. You have the Xiaomi parts included. If you want to use that, you can like me sound enhancer, etc. Same like that. If you move on to the what's new option, let me show you. This is what we have. What's new? If you want to take a look at the change log, what's changed, and what is new thing about this new update, that's already included, and you can check out. And you don't need to move on to the the website to find out what is new in this update so that's also their monitor theming etc it's just working perfectly fine so things are pretty much good if you want to install this build as i previously mentioned you can install this thing a perfect thing for redmi noted users make sure to give it a try this is all thanks for watching goodbye Like I'm floating through the air